putting you on air. Hello? Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, yes, uh, first of all, we want to uh, speak about Arjen Robben, and uh, he, de he decided to finish his career with Bayern München this season. And I want to know from you, do you think that Robin will retire the football career this year or we can see Robin and MLS and USA for an example? No, I think um, he very much wants to play another year. The problem is that it was never going to happen at Bayern because hmm. you know, they were not going to offer him a new contract. But he's been you know, as great as a player he has been and I think he is somewhat unfairly um, not talked about as the, one of the greatest players in the last 15 years, not just in the Bundesliga, but in world football. I mean, it's so dominated by Ronaldo and Messi, but mm -hmm. Ian Robin should be up there. So unfortunately for him, the last couple of years, he's been struggling with injuries and um, recovering. The recovery time from injuries has, has gone uh, longer for him. So... Um, you know, it's very clear at Bayern that um, they want to build a new team and not, you know, many people thought that would happen from this summer and then they postponed that to, to next summer. And uh, he is uh, one of the casualties, um, as is Frank Ribéry. Um, so, yeah, and then there was news, I think, a couple of days ago that uh, Groningen in, in the Netherlands are potentially interested. Um, but I think he will probably try to go somewhere where it's... Um, maybe, maybe Asia or it will be USA. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think, sure, yeah, the USA or um, potentially even other countries, the Middle East, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, um, just announced this, you know, it's kind of one of those where he announced this, uh, um, that he won't be playing at Bayern uh, next season, but it's, it's kind of something that everybody knew. Mm. Um, he gave a great interview and, uh, you know, somebody that I think a lot of people don't, know as well, um, just because, you know, people remember um, his acting and his on pitch, but off the field, he's, he's uh, one of the one of the better people uh, in, in world football, so, um, you know, I certainly hope that uh, he will play, you know, and he's, you know, keep in mind, like, he's only 34 years old, which, yes. you know, a lot of people think he's older than he, uh, than he Look, looks, yes. uh, so, so he should have a couple of years. Excuse me, I will translate to the people in Arabic and I'll be back to you. So, to Ala Robin, Bidayatan Kararu fi in Ham Asirtu Ma'a Fari Barney Munich, Halta Atakad in Mumkin Robin Yatadil Kurutu Kadam, while Mumkin Shufu Hatta Tania, Zay Dauri Al America, Ali Robin Nadi Barn, Hawam Al Karar Sahab, Sabab in Fari Barn, Mishaim Nahu Adigdid, Isabat Tira Gedan Atalet Robin Ma'a Masirtu Ma'a Fari Barn, like Nahu Aizilab Kaman Musim O Musimim, Sawa Haiba Mogud fi. أسيا في الصين أو في اليابان أو 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 هيبقى موجود في الدوري الأمريكي روبن عنده 34 سنة لكن شكله يدي أكبر لكنه حابب أنه هو يكمل مسيرته في كرة القدم وتكلم قال ان في لعيبه كتير ممكن تكون في نفس عمره بتادي بشكل كويس زي رونالدو وزي ميسي وزي ريبري لكن الاصابات هي اللي ليها العامل الاكبر في انقصاد مستوى روبن في الفتره الاخيره وابتعاده عن الملاعب معظم الوقت. مستر أبل أوسو أي وانت تو سبيك أبوت بارد منشن and about Kovac, Kovac, we know, we all know that he as uh, he is on the edge, and maybe he will get fired soon because of the bad performance with the team. Also, we want to know the, what will happen with Bayern in the transfer window, uh, whatever in winter or summer. Do you think Bayern Munich can sign with a good quality of players that can join Bayern Munich this season, or he must wait until end of this season to start a new beginning? Can, but I don't think they want to. I, I, I mean, from everything I've read, and you know, in multiple press conferences from Uli Hoeneß and you know, Karl-Heinz Rummenigge and German reports, um, 2019 summer is, is basically the, the transition time where, where they want to spend the money. And there's reports of 150 to uh, 200 million uh, euros that they're going to spend um, for the winter. I mean, Alfonso Davies is the one who's coming in from the MLS. They already bought him. He has been training with the team since November, so, mm. um, so, so he will be a new addition. And there's you know, people like Kingsley Coman have come back from injury. Thiago is back. Mm. Um, you know, Hamez is really the only long-term injury until he's so. So, um, you know, now that uh, they will have enough people, you know, it, they just need to get better performances. And they also, you know, Bayern are not the type of team 
who will panic spend and, and just, uh, you know, just kind of give a lot of money in the winter for people that they might not think are a good investment. But, you know, there's a lot of targets that came up in the summer. Um, I think Christian Pulisic was one. Um, yes. The biggest one was Frankie de Jong and Matthias de Ligt, although, mm. you know, the news today was that Frankie de Jong is more or less agreed with uh, Paris Saint-Germain. Mm. So seems to be. So, I mean, the tough part for Bayern is that they are never really going to financially compete with, you know, the very top English or Spanish. Because yes. Because it's just not how Bayern operates. They never spend $100 million. I mean, that's But do you think is this, is this good... Uh, Uh, to uh, to Bayern Munich club that he will not spend that uh, money uh, uh, com um, comparing by the city or PSG? Yeah, I mean, whether I think it's good or not is not really relevant. I mean, it's just how Bayern operate, right? Like, they're, they're, you know, they are the ones who adhere to the uh, 50 plus one rule in Germany, and it's a different club model, right? So mm. they're never, you know, I think they, they have stretched that to its limits because they are the third, fourth, third of biggest club in terms of financial uh, revenue and, and all the money they bring in from marketing. And, and you know, Uli Hennes should get all the credit for building the, the international business juggernaut in Bayern. And it's worked so far. Uh, and they're still able to get quality players. I mean, you, you look at, you know, Thiago brought in or Lewandowski for free and, you know, or even like Niklas Zula. I mean, these, these are people that are world-class players or, and, or even like Joshua Kimmich as well. Um, I think the coaching aspect is interesting, and I wrote a lot about Nico Kovac. I, I was a pretty big fan of him at Frankfurt. It's just, you know, the problem with it is that um, he really wasn't the first choice. He was more like option C or D. And when, you know, neither Thomas Tuchel or Julian Nagelsmann were good enough, or, you know, the front office necessarily doesn't think that they're good enough. And I think that's the larger problem with Bayern. And I think the last couple of weeks also saw some news of... Uh, You know, Uli Hoeneß taking a step back, and there were talks of uh, Philip Lahm and Oliver Kahn, maybe a you know, younger generation of management, mm. coming in and taking over. So I think Bayern, um, I, you know, for the last couple of years, I mean, really, uh, if it wasn't for Jupp Heinz saving them, um, mm. we would be talking about the, the crisis much earlier. Mm. Um, so I think really since the post Guardiola, since Guardiola left, they are in a transition that they don't necessarily want to make, but they know they have to make. And I think they've been delaying that for the last couple of years. And you could see that with uh, Ribéry and Robin and, and all those other players that are, that are getting up there in age. And it looks like they have finally admitted that they're going to need to do it. And it probably is going to happen this summer. And, you know, I don't think – and it very much could be at the cost of sacrificing this Bundesliga season. <تصفيق> طيب سالته سريعا عشان نلخص لحضراتكم الكلام اللي اتقال انا سالته على اداره بايرن وكوفيتش وهل هو ممكن يتم اقالته في الفتره القادمه وازاي ممكن بايرن يدعم صفوفه قال لي بايرن بيرصد 200 مليون يورو لتدعيم صفوفه الفتره القادمه كمان بايرن بيحاول ان هو يعمل اعاده هيكله في الاداره باستخدام الجيل الحديث من لاعبي كره القدم زي اوليفر كان وزي فيليب لام واستبداله بالجيل القديم وكوفيتش من المدربين اللي كان في كلام عليه في الفتره في الفترة الماضية لكن الفترة الحالية هو موجود في مكانته أنا بقول لحضراتكم أن يعني من برضه اللي أنا قريته أن كوفيتش ممكن يعني في الفترة القادمة ممكن يتم استبداله بواحد من المدربين الألمان هم حاولوا أن هم يجربوا أكثر من تجربة خارج الجنسية الألمانية لكن هم مش بيكونوا مبسوطين زي زي جوارديولا وزي كوفيتش بينجح مع بايرن ميونخ المدير الفني الألماني Uh, Mr. Apple, also uh, very fast, I want to know about the Der Spiegel and what happened of uh, uh, documents that they have. What, when uh, do you think that Der Spiegel will release all this document? And do you think all of this document is really true? Um, I think, you know, so it's an interesting story. I've, I've actually, you know, uh, talked a little bit about with their journalists. And mm. I, it, it's one of those things where, um, you know, they are in possession of billions or millions of, uh, of bytes or terabytes of, uh, of documents. And um, I think the, the question of whether those documents were obtained legally um, is a difficult one. It, it, it seems like they probably were not. Um, and I think there's been some news of, of the, uh, you know, the football leaks, and I think everybody kind of knows that uh, the football leaks documents were obtained probably not 
not the most legal ways. Um, but you know, the, the difficulty is that there's just so much data and so many so much information that that you know there. Are, I, from what I know, there's 18 journalists that are working around the clock to uh, you know to deal with this information and to use it and to fact check it and to, to write it. But I mean, there, there's new stuff coming out every every week. I mean, just this week they had the the latest news in the, the Ronaldo Cristiano Ronaldo yes. catching Mayorga yes. allegations and. That was the interesting part from that was that the latest news is, is that, uh, you know, the, the Ronaldo's defense team, the legal defense yes, team, yes. Is, is now, um, they have different versions of the questionnaire and, and how they are kind of trying to obviously make Cristiano Ronaldo look more innocent. Uh, and, you know, and I think the Spiegel documents did a, did a great job of exposing that or showing that what they've tried to do and, you know, how the statements from, from Ronaldo or the questions that he answered and, and his answers changed over the, the course of the uh, investigation. So, yeah, there's, it's, it's a developing story. I think it's, it's probably the biggest story uh, in football and sports. It's just, uh, you know, um, I think the, the problem is that it, it, it's not necessarily in everybody's interest for these in, for these information, for this information to, to come to light. And, you know, obviously, I think we can all figure out who has, uh, a lot to lose, and who has who has something to gain necessarily, and you know we, we will see. But but I certainly uh, kind of efforts on, on the parts of journalists because I think that the, the job of journalism is, is to uncover these kind of things. Mr. Apple, uh, Ms. Saros, thank you so much for being with me in the Lahali Channel. ده كان صحفي بموقع بوند ليجا فاناتيك علشان اتكلم معاه في كل ما يخص الكره الالمانيه اخيرا سالته على الدوشبيجل والتسريبات اللي كان كل اسبوع بيبقى عندنا تسريب جديد من مجال الدوشبيجل وكان مفاجاه بالنسبه لمتابعي كره القدم سالته قلت له هل التسريبات دي صحيحه وهل او او متى هيتم تسريب كل ما هو موجود في الدوشبيجل قال لي كل اسبوع بيكون في حاجه تتناسب مع الفعاليات ومع الاحداث اللي موجوده واتكلم على رونالدو والقضيه اللي كانت مثيره ضده في امريكا في 2009 وايضا اتكلم كونه كواحد من الصحفيين موجودين في المانيا ده السؤال اكيد اللي بيتم سؤاله عليه من اي حد امتى هيتم تسريب كل ما هو موجود في الدوش بيجل قال طبعا سالته هل الكلام ده صحيح ولا لا قال الكلام ده صحيح ودليل على على الكلام ده ان بيكون في قضيه رونالدو لما تم تسريبها رونالدو خرج ودافع عن نفسه وفي محامين بيحققوا في الموضوع وايضا كلام على راموس نفس الكلام ان كان ان هو استعان ببعض المحامين علشان خاطر يحققوا او يدافعوا عن الكلام اللي بيثار ضده فكل ده كلام خاص بدوش بيجل ده يعني اكثر الكلام اللي حاولت ان انا الخصه لحضراتكم من المداخله التليفونيه من المانيا نروح بقى سريعا الى الفيديوهات وفقرة المحببه لدى جمهور كره القدم ونبدا من ليسا البنت الجزائريه صاحبه الاصول الجزائريه صاحبه الجنسيه الفرنسيه اللي تتالق في الملاعب كره القدم العالميه علشان تكون ضمن سيدات الفري ستايلر اللي بيمتعوا الجميع وبيذهلوا رجال كرة القدم مش بيصدقوا أول لما واحد بيشوف مهاراتها مش بيصدق ورد الفعل بيكون غير طبيعي تعالوا نشوف إزاي ليسا بتبهر